welcome back to my channel and welcome the newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey by hitting that subscription button. It's free and hit the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. I would just like to mention that if the video is a little bit too fast for you, up top there's three little buttons. You can click there, slow down the video to the speed you'd like. Also right next to it, there's the CC uh, letters for closed caption. You can turn that on. And you can read all the stitch that I'm calling down here by pausing the video. Take notes will make it easier for you. Now, normally when I upload um, the videos, it takes about an hour for YouTube to uh, search all my words that I'm saying. So it can appear on the closed caption. So don't panic if you don't see right away the closed captions because the video has just been launched. It will show up in about a half an hour to an hour after the upload. I also would like to mention that if you have extra yarn, extra thread, and you'd like to help the women in need, we highly appreciate it and being very, very grateful for it. Thank you for the ones that already have helped and are still helping. If you'd like to donate right below the video, there's a little bag of dollar sign. You can donate whatever amount you'd like. Nobody's asking for millions. Anything helps. It adds up at the end. Uh, you can also go into the description box. My PayPal account is there. You can donate through there if you'd like also. Please always give a thumbs up on the video if you like the video. It does help the video to circulate and also uh, to be recognized worldwide. I gratefully appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's one way to help me out and to help to continue to create these beautiful pieces. Um, also share on your Facebook public. It costs nothing. It's everything is free. There's no charge of anything. So please help out to grow the channel. I do have a Facebook group, a uh, private group. If you have a profile, you're more than welcome to uh, request to be a member. It's free, of course, and uh, we'll approve you. You must have a profile. Be careful with the links that you go into the groups that says cut and bit. These are fraud uh, scammers that go through your phones, your computers, and take every information of yours. Do not open up those links. There's a lot of hackers in the groups now. That's why I made sure that my group is private. Uh, I want to thank every single one of you from the start uh, being with me, and uh, thank you so much for the newcomers. It costs nothing to subscribe, so please do so. Thank you so much, everybody. Everything will be listed always in the description box for every pattern that I create, the sizes, the thread that I use, which is Portugal thread. They are 100% cotton thread, four ply, which is similar to Aunt Lydia. Number three, which num number three Aunt Lydia is just a little bit thicker than my thread, not by much, but a little bit. I usually use a hook three or 3.5, a small one for tucking in loose ends and a pair of scissors, of course. So thank you, everybody. Uh, any other questions, suggestions, please feel free to uh, comment. You can always get a hold of me if your intentions are to uh, give some thread or yarn away. There's my email below the description box. There's my Facebook page that you can follow also, my Facebook group, my Instagram, my TikTok. So there's so many ways you can message me. Thank you so much, everybody. I hug every single one of you and much blessings to all of you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, you guys, so we're going to make another pineapple doily, pineapple cloth, depending up on the size of thread yarn you're using. This is four ply, 100% cotton thread, similar to Aunt Lydia number three. If you do use Aunt Lydia number three, it will definitely be big enough for, you know, those small corners, um, tables, you know. Uh, will be perfect size for it so and of course if you're using like number 10 then it definitely uh, will be a doily so we're going to get started I'm going to use uh, 2.75 maybe sometimes three also a small one to tuck in loose ends somewhere because my desk is a mess and of course a pair of scissors to tuck in the loose ends these are portugal threads i am in portugal so i get them off of here i know a lot of you ask me where do i get my threads they don't sell it online and um, but i'm sure you can find it um, in many like michael's or uh, hobby lobbies or online somewhere at your preference okay so we're gonna get started everyone 
please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. Help grow the channel by sharing on your Facebook public or with your friends and family. Anything helps. Sharing is caring. And, you know, it keeps us designers, creators, uh, keep going with the channel. You know, it's the only way to to have and, and survive is to by growing the channel. Please don't skip the commercials. This also helps the channel a lot by skipping. You're not, you know, you're not helping that much. <laughs> so please do so. Also commenting helps the channel. So if you want to just, you know, say hello, please do so. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to use the magic circle, but if you guys are using a smaller uh, thread like Aunt Lydia number 10, let's say, or um, whatever number 10 you're using, whatever uh, company, then do a 16 chain, okay? I'm going um, 16 chain for you guys. I'm going to do the magic because it's easier for me, I find. And it completes the work well. But I'm not going to close in this uh, magic circle too much at the beginning as yet. Because of all the stitching, I want to make sure that there's enough space that it can stretch, okay? So after you've done your 16 chain, close in as you normally do with a slip stitch. And inside of that ring, we're going to do um, 32 double crochet. That includes... With chain three going up. I might have to change the towel on here so it does not reflect too much on the white because sometimes it just, re I think this will be better. That's why I like to keep different colors of towels here so it doesn't um, brighten too much. Okay, now um, I'm going to try to go as slow as I can, but not that slow because then the video will be extremely long. But please, people, turn your CC on, your closed caption, and also up top of the three little buttons. You can click there, slow down the video. If you don't know how, inside of the description box below the video, I have a link. It's a two minute link. It shows you how to slow down the video and to turn on your closed caption because I get a lot of comments that you're too fast, you're too fast. But I mention on every video that I'm a fast crocheter and sometimes I get carried away, not thinking, just concentrating on the stitch. That's why you have that option to slow down the video. It makes it easier for you. And by turning the closed caption on, you can always pause, read what I said, and that matches up with the stitch you're doing. Very simple as that, okay? Okay, so we're going to do 32 double crochet, including with chain three we went up and then we're going to close with slip stitch row one okay you guys coming into row two so i've done my slip stitch my chain three i'm going to come into the next one double crochet next space double crochet next space double crochet so we're going to do double crochet per space and we're going to have our 32 double crochets on row two i'll meet you at the end so we pretty much did row two going into row three we're going to go up chain three in the same space we're adding increasing another double crochet now this row two three we're going to have an increase of two double crochets per space okay so very simple nothing to it two double crochet per space row three i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so we finish row three two together we're going to go up one, two, and three. We're going to repeat row two, one per space. So very simple. You have to be very um, careful on this pattern because there's going to be a lot of details for these pineapples. There's like three rows of pineapples, so there's quite a bit of details on it. And for that reason, I will have to go for uh, video two 
or maybe video three. So one, two, three. On your fourth row, we're repeating row two, one per space. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So one, two, three, four, going into row five, three chain. In the same one, we're going to do another double crochet. One, two, three chain. We're going to skip one, two, and on the third one, we're repeating two double crochets together. Chain three again. Skip one, two. On the third one, two double crochets together. We're going to repeat this all the way around to the end. With the three chain, we're going to close in on the third chain here with a slip stitch. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm near the end. I've done my three chains. I need 22 groups of two double crochets. So I'm only going to skip one on my last one here. I'm only skipping one and I'm adding my 20 seconds one together. For some reason, I'm missing a double crochet. I don't know, my mistake somewhere, but no biggie. So on my last one, I skipped only one. And of course, there's only one left to, to close in. But anyway, 22 uh, groups of two double crochet. One, two, three, four, on row five. Okay, you guys, coming into row six, I'm going to come in with a single in the center of the space. Chain two. This will equal a double crochet. In the same space, we're going to create shells double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochets in the same space. So we'll have two groups of two double crochet in the same space. Into the next space, no chain separation. We're creating those shells again, two double crochet, two chain, and two double crochet again. Like that. We're going to repeat this all the way around. You're supposed to have 22 shells. Okay. Two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet into the next space. Two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet. Repeat the same thing all the way around. Okay, you guys, so we are going to row seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, going to row seven. So I'm going to do the walk with a slip stitch to the center of my shell, creating a single two chain. We're going to create shell over shell. So two double crochet, that single into chain equals a double crochet. Two chain space, so we're just creating shell inside of the two chain here with um, two chain again. I'm going to do one chain space and coming into the next shell. Now, if your stitch is extremely tight, then you can do two chain space. You know how it goes. If it's too tight, do a few more chains. If it's too loose, then cut chains, and that's how it goes. One chain space in between shells and create your shells. We're going to be doing this for quite um, a few rows. Not sure yet how many rows I have to see. Okay, so the only difference that is going to happen is um, probably the next six rows or so we're going to be doing shells over shells. The only thing we're going to do is increase on chain, obviously, because we need that space in between shells to keep growing, right? So I'll meet you at the end. So we're going to row eight. Now we're going to do this until row 12, the same way, just repeat. The only difference is we keep increasing by one chain. So I've started row eight. I've closed row seven with slip stitch, did the walk. I call it the walk with the slip stitch into the center, did a single two chain and created my shell, double crochet, two chain space, two more double crochets. Now I'm going to do an increase of two chain instead of one into the next space and create your shell. 
We're going to do this until row 12, two chain space between them, create your two double crochets again, and one two chain space into the next shell, create your shell. I will do mine, continue yours, and I'll come back to you after I finish my row 12. And then we're going to change up on row 13. So you just have to keep increasing by the chain. So the next round, you're going to do three chain, the next round, four chain, the next round, until row 12. Row 12, you're supposed to have six chains, I believe. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so we finished row 12 with six chain space between them. We're going to row 13. It's going to change now a bit. So I did the slip stitch. I did the walk into the center of the shell with a single and chain two. Another double crochet. Now here we're going to do one, two, three, four, five chain. We're going to prepare already for the pineapple and we're going to do two more double crochet. Okay, so preparing for the pineapple, five chain. I'm going to do chain five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm coming into the next one. This one will be a normal shell. So we'll always have a normal shell and then chain five. So chain two for the shell, two double crochets. Okay, so the next one we'll do the chain five. So we're going to have chain five in between them. Two, three, four, five. And on this shell here, we're going to do five chain. Because this is going to be a, another pineapple. So we're always skipping a shell in the sense of for the five chain. Okay, two, three, four, five chain on this shell. It will be another pineapple. Okay, so chain five, create your pineapple, chain five, chain five space, normal shell, chain five, and then again your shell with five chain. Now this one will be a normal shell like this one. So always one normal shell, one with chain five. I'll meet you at the end. This is row 13. Okay, everyone, going into row 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I did my slip stitch. I did the walk. I went into the center of my five chain, did a single, chain two. We're going to have a total of 13 double crochets in here. That's included with my single and two chain. So we're going to do 13 double crochets and then chain five again or maybe four if five is too loose and do the normal shell again and then again chain four or chain five for some of you and do again the 13 double crochets in here so I'm going to advance the 13 double crochets and come back to you I've done my 13 double crochets. Make sure you do have 13 or you're going to have issues up ahead. So I'm going to do one, two, three. I'm going to see four is enough for me. If it is, I'll keep it at four chain. I think it should be good. I'm going to do my regular shell, two double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet. And again, chain four, one, two, three, four, maybe chain five for some of you. So I'm coming in the five chain again and creating my 13 double crochets. We're going to repeat this all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, so just repeat 13 double crochets, chain four or chain five for some of you. So do your normal shell exactly like we did here. I'll meet you at the end everyone so we finished doing row 14 going into row 15 i believe 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so we're going to repeat this row exactly the same thing so i've closed in with slip stitch done three chain went up 
that equals a double crochet. So one double crochet per space. You'll have your 13 double crochets just the same. So everything pretty much is the same except we'll do chain three. So I'm going to continue then come back to you and I'm done my 13 double crochets. I've done my 13 double crochets. I'm going to do chain three and continue to proceed with a normal regular shell. Two double crochets, two chain and two more double crochets. Chain three and proceed again with your 13 double crochets for the pineapples. One per space. Continue to do this row the same way and I'll meet you at the end. Okay. Okay, you guys, so I closed in row 15 with a slip stitch. I'm going to go up four chain three for double crochet and one for space. I'm coming into the next space, double crochet, one chain space, next space, double crochet. So we're doing the 13 double crochets with one chain space between them. And then when we get to the shell will be the normal shell and we'll do a two chain space going into the shell. Okay, so one double crochet, one chain space, next space double crochet. I'll meet you at the end of my 13 double crochets, one chain space between them. So I've done my 13 double crochet with one chain space between them. I'm going to do chain two. I'm coming in and doing my normal shell. So two double crochet, two chain space, and two more double crochet in the same space. Chain two, one, two, and come back and create your 13 double crochets with one space between them and one chain also between them. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. This is row 16. Okay, you guys, so we're going into row 17. We just closed in with a slip stitch on the third chain that we went up. I'm going to come inside of the space here and do a single. We're starting to do the loops for the pineapple. So one, two, three. Into the next space between the double crochets. Single, one, two, three. Into the next space. So we're going to create loops all the way to the end. Three chain into the next space. Single. So I'm doing my singles in between the spaces. One, two, three into the next space. I'll meet you at the end here. So I pretty much finished doing the loops, the three chain loops. Now I have 12 singles in between the spaces and I have 11 loops of three chain. Okay, so now we're going to do chain two. We're going to continue to create on this row the sh uh, shell stitch the same way as we've been doing two double crochets two chain and two more double crochets we're going to repeat this all the way around the same way and then chain two again and into the first space on the pineapple to create our loops chain three next space so we're creating our 11 loops And proceed this way okay so I'll meet you at the end okay you guys so we are finishing row 17 now I need to get back here and start from here for some reason I started here I don't know why it just happens like that right okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here where the single is and I'm going to do a double crochet 
Okay, and then I'm going to just come in and pull my thread into the beginning here and just stretch it a bit so I can come into the beginning. I'm going to go again so I can center it. Or you can cut your thread, you know, like let's say we got to the end. You could have went on top of the single, cut your thread, and then come back here. I'm not going to do that. I just came directly back here. Okay, you guys, so we're going to do the shell just the same. I don't know how in the hell didn't I think of that. Chain two and two double crochet. Okay, going into row 18. So like I said, you know, I started and I went directly with a single. I shouldn't have done that, um, but I did. So no biggie, I did a double crochet sideways and just came back, walking backwards into my shell. If you feel more comfortable on closing in with a slip stitch, cut your thread and come back and start. Go ahead. I apologize for that. Sometimes my brain is not all there. We're going to repeat the same row doing just uh, shells. This time we're going to do three chain. We're going to come in the first loop. Now we're decreasing loops one two three so very simple we had 11 loops we're gonna have 10 loops now we we'll chain three and do singles one two three and our shells stay the same the only thing that's going to change is the increase in between the shell and the loops we're doing everything three okay one two three So we have our 10 three chain loops. We're decreasing now on the pineapple. Chain three. Coming in and creating our shell again. So it's just a repeat now. So basically on this row, we're decreasing on the pineapple and we're increasing the chain between the shell and the pineapple. Like that. Okay. So you're supposed to have 10 loops of three uh, chain for the pineapple or decreasing we had the first one with 11 now it's 10 the next one is nine but the next row we're going to do two shells on the same space that means three groups of two double crochet in the same space we need to start creating our next pineapple okay so i'll meet you at the end of this row okay you guys so we finished row 18 Going into row 19. Now I did, I've closed in with a slip stitch. I walked with a single chain two. I'm going to do another double crochet. We're going to do three groups of two double crochet in here. We have to start the uh, next pineapple chain two again. And my third group of two double crochets. This whole row will be like this on all of them. Okay, so all of the spaces are going to have the three groups of two double crochet. Chain three and continue with your pineapples. Chain three and then single. So we're decreasing on the pineapples. So now we should have nine loops. So I'm going to continue to do my loops and I'll meet you at the end of the loops. So I've done my three chain nine loops on my pineapples, chain three, one, two, three, and again, come in and create your three groups of two. Oops, I'm going to snap my light out. My space is very limited here, so sometimes I just knock everything down. So we have the first shell two more chain and again create your two groups of two double crochet so we have the three two double crochet two chain two double crochet two chain two double crochet chain three and go into the first loop and create your nine 
loops on the next pineapple. Okay, so all of the space are going to have the three groups of two, uh, two double crochet, space of two chain. Okay, I'll meet you at the end. This is row 19. Oops, knocking down my light again. Okay, you guys, so we finish row 19, going to row 20. I'm going to do the walk, and I'm going to go right into the center of the two chain with a single chain two. Now we're going to do the shell inside of this space here. Chain three, one, two, three. And coming in and doing another shell on the next space. So the whole row, and if you find your chain three is too loose, then you can do a chain two. Okay, we're going to do that in all of them. And of course, we're going to decrease on the pineapple. So chain three. So you should have eight loops on this row. Neighbors' dogs are going crazy. There's never a dull moment in this place. Chain three again. And come and create your shells again. So two double crochet. Chain two. Two double crochet. Now like I said, you can do chain two or three depending upon your tension. Two double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochet in the same space. Okay, so we're going to do that to all of them, and you should have eight loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight loops. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going to row 21, so I've closed in with a slip stitch. I did the walk, I'm in the center. We're going to do the shell the same way, so single to chain, or three for some of you, another double crochet, two chain space, another two double crochet, so we're building the shells, two chain space into the center and create a shell also. This whole row will be all about shells. Two chain space back into the center and create your two double crochets, chain two, into the next space, create your shell again. So it's supposed to look like that shell here, shell in the center, and shell there. Chain three, always chain three for the pineapple. So we're going to continue to do the loops. And we're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. So I'll meet you in the beginning of row 22. So this is all repeat all the way here and all of them. And then the three chains for the pineapples. Okay, so I'll meet you on the beginning of row 22. Okay, you guys, so we finished row 21, going to row 22. So I closed in with a slip stitch, walk to the center with a single, two chain. We're going to create the shell again, two chain, and two more double crochets. One, two, three chain, and a shell in the center again. Two chain because this is for the the other pineapple. We're, we're starting to build it. 
chain three, initial again, chain three, we're going to continue to do the loops for the pineapple, we're decreasing. Now what's good about this pattern is you can go the length you'd like, as many pineapples as you'd like, by always adding these, these motifs here on as you go. You would just have to rewind a bit and see where you fit them. And you keep adding pineapples into it. And then create your shells again. So it's just a repeat of shells. The difference is we're increasing the chain here in between shells to chain three instead of two. Okay, so we're pretty much just repeating this all the way around. I'll meet you in the beginning of row 23. You guys finish row 22, going into row 23. So the next two rows are going to be the same thing as we're doing now. We're just increasing on the chain here. So I close in with slip stitch, then the walk to the center, did my shell, two chain space. One, two, three, four chain, coming into the center, creating my shell again. Two chain and two more double crochets. One, two, three, four chain and create my next shell. So the next row will, will be the same thing except we'll be doing a, a five chain. If I can get away with four I will but most probably it's going to be a five. I'll see when I get there. One, two, three. The pineapple stays the same as three chains, so that's pretty much it. We're going to repeat this all the way around. So now we're supposed to have on this row 23, five loops for the pineapple. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. and five loops on the pineapples on row 23 and then create your shell again and then your chain four again so this is what it looks like on row 23 and we have five loops okay so I'll meet you at the beginning of row 24. Okay, you guys, so we finished row 23, going into row 24. So I close in with a slip stitch, did the walk into the center, created my shell. One, two, three, four. I'm going to try to pull it as a four, see if it works. If not, I'll give it a five. Now here, we're going to start the foundation of the next pineapple. So we're going to do two double crochet and chain five, two, three, four, and five, and then back into the same space and create the shell. The difference is this will have a chain five because in the next row we'll be doing 14 double crochets in here. This will be the foundation of the next pineapple. One, two, three, four chain. If you need to do five chain, then go ahead. I'm going to try to get away with four. And then we're going to continue to create the shell with two chain. And then we're going to create the three, uh, three uh, chain for the loops. One, two, and three for the pineapples. So now you're going to have four loops. One, two, three. So we have our first loop. One, two, three. 
our second loop. One, two, three. Our third loop. One, two, three. Our fourth loop. And we're going to create again the same thing here as we just finished doing here. So, one, two, three. Create your shell. Create your four chain or five chain for some of you. Two, three, four. If it doesn't pull too much, you're okay with the four. If it starts pulling too much, then you have to do five chains. So two, three, four, and five chain in the center. Okay? Make sure that you don't forget that part. And then one, two, three, and four chain again. And create your shell again. So don't forget the five chain there. Create our loops. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. This is row 24. I'll meet you at the beginning of row 25. Okay, everyone, so we finished row 24 going into row 25. So I did a slip stitch. I did the walk to the center, single, two chains. So we're going to do the shell, the normal shell, two double crochet, two chain, and two double crochet. One, two, three. I'm coming in here. So we did three chain, okay? And I'm going to do 14 double crochet because this is the beginning foundation of the next pineapple. Okay, so do your 14 double crochet and I'll be right with you. So I've done my 14 double crochet right in the center where we have the five chain, chain three. Now if your chain is too loose, you know the the gimmick, you only do two chain and not three, okay? So normal shell again, two double crochet, two chain, and two double crochet. And then proceed the three chain for the pineapple. So now we're going to have three loops left on the pineapples. Chain three, single, chain three, single, chain three, single, chain three, and do your shell all over again. And then chain three, and your 14 double crochets. This is row 25. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So continue your 14 double crochets in the center. And I'll meet you at the beginning of row 26. Okay, you guys, so we finished row 25, going to row 26. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, three. We're going to come on top of the double crochet with double crochet and one chain space next space double crochet one chain next space double crochet one chain and we're going to proceed this way until we cover all of the 14 double crochets and then chain three and then your regular shell but I'll meet you here after we finish doing the one chain and the 14 double crochet. So one chain space and double crochet. So now we have our 14 double crochet separated by one chain. Chain three, create your shell. 
Now we're going to go into the decrease of the pineapple. We should have only two loops left. One, two, three, chain. One, two, three, chain, single. So that's our first loop, because obviously we don't count this. This is not a loop. And our second loop, one, two, three. And then come and do your normal shell. One, two, three. On top of the double crochet with double crochet, one chain space. And continue to do your 14 double crochets. So we're going to repeat this the same way all the way around row 26. So I'll meet you at the beginning of row 27. Okay, you guys, so we finished row 26. I've closed it with a slip stitch, did the walk into the center, did my shell. One, two, three. We're going to start creating the the loops one two three one two three one two three so we're creating the second pineapple okay so i'm going to meet you at the end here so we have 12 loops of three chain for the second pineapple, chain three, and create your shell again. Chain three, and create your last loop on this pineapple. Should have one left only. On row 27. And then repeat the same thing again. Create your shell. Two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet. Chain three into the first space between first and second double crochet chain three and create your 12 loops again so this is what it looks like i'll meet you at the beginning of row 28 